Hey everybody, it's Drake here from Loose Wire Productions, and welcome back to Minecraft. We have had quite a little break from Minecraft. I haven't been on here in quite a while, and I've been missing it like crazy. I mean, stuff has just gotten so, so busy lately. I'll tell you guys about it here. Really, this is like my therapy... Thera oh, hello. This is like my therapy session, is making these episodes with you guys because I get just to talk about like what's going on and you know we just chill and I oh there's Sherpa the sheep oh shit hey buddy I don't need you guys to destroy all the land clearly I didn't go to sleep in a fast enough amount of time so yes this is like my therapy session I really enjoy making these episodes because I just get to talk about like what's going on in my life and honestly if you guys don't have something like these in your life where you can just kind of get on and just ramble, I would highly recommend it. I mean, maybe not YouTube. I don't know. Maybe YouTube. It's whatever you want. But something. Something like this. Maybe maybe just uh, maybe just a regular plain old therapy session with, with a psychiatrist. That gets too bad of a rap, you know? People say you're nuts. That's not fair. You, you know, maybe just need something like this in your life where you just kind of get to ramble on and on and people just listen you know it's it's nice but so everything that's been happening with me we signed a lease me and Kayla and I guess you guys if you watch uh, the main channel which you should I put a lot more effort into the main channel than this channel if you watch the main channel you guys definitely know Kayla she's she's my girlfriend she's been my girlfriend for coming up on three years like it's two and a half years three years coming up here pretty soon and um love her to death she's just my everything um so yeah if you guys watch the main channel you guys certainly certainly know kayla by this point she's on most of the om nom nom episodes so yeah please do so if you don't know who i'm talking about if you do uh give her a shout out say yo what's up kayla but so we signed a lease for an apartment um well actually this this kind of a good little we can't live in like a regular old dorm because she is actually two years older than me and she's obviously not going to she's gonna be done with college so she can't live in a dorm with me so we had to sign a regular I don't know what I'm doing in this episode what are, let's let's finish let's finish our roof off I've got an idea for our roof she uh, she can't live in a regular old dorm with me so we have to sign or we have to sign a lease for a regular old apartment and I gotta be honest it it was not a fun experience. <laughs> I know that sounds like it, it, it was, it's not pleasurable. If you guys are going into this here pretty soon, or I don't know, if you're thinking about anything like that, start the process early. They will make you jump through a million ho hoops. They just will. They, I mean, frankly, they can. Like, they have so, so many people who are going because it's a college town who are going to this college and need housing that they can really just treat you however they want and they do they so do like let me get like so we went we signed we we decided on a date and we both took off work and we went down there to look at apartments and um i mean it was it could not have been more simple you just call the people and tell them hey i want to come look at apartments you know I'll, you what day is good for you this day works for me we'll be there it's it's making an appointment it's super simple our first two just outright canceled on us for no reason it wasn't like the apartment was our we had we had one where the apartment was already taken fine not a big deal first two just outright cancel why i don't know they just did they just didn't feel like like seeing us that day so uh, we got up super early, we go down there, and only to have the first two be canceled. So we could have slept in, because it's about two hours away from where I live. And <laughs> so we're just wandering around, looking for things to do, because there's nothing to do. We end up going to the mall, and we, we look for some more, and we, we just give random phone calls. And they have to take and give 24 hours notice to the people who live there at the moment because otherwise people are just going to show up you know and be like hey i want to see your place so i don't know it, it's it's weird so we we had a bunch of time in the morning so we took and we finally got into the first one and 
it wasn't bad. Like, I don't know what I expected. I guess I was more expecting them to have, like, a model apartment for us to see. Like, you know what I mean? Like, an apartment where, you know, this is, like, the ideal place. This is what the sizing is going to look like. Because one of the big problems with taking and showing people, like, houses that people live in, if you've ever watched House Hunters, it's that, like, people can't visualize what it's going to look like when their stuff is in there. And so I kind of figured that it'll all be a model apartment because, you know, these people rent, like the first ones we said, we saw, they told us they rent like 300 of these, like at all times, you know, they just have 300, that's what they own and they're constantly full. And so I just figured, okay, you're going to have one of those apartments that's a model apartment. Oh, no, 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 silly, silly, silly Drake. No, 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 no. <laughs> they just tell the tenants, hey, we're going to be here at this time, leave those tenants leave and then you just walk into their apartment and you look around. So the first one didn't look good at the beginning. It was like, eh. I mean, there was, there was junk on the floor. Uh, none of the beds were made, you know, it, it, it didn't look great. I didn't realize at that point in time, that would be the best apartment we saw all day by far. So the second apartment we went into was with the same people. And I don't know how this happened or what came up. Well, first of all, there was junk everywhere, but there was just rotting vegetables on the counter. And like, not like, oh, they're, they're barely bad. Like they had been rotting for a while. And you got to ask yourself, what happened? Why, why did you just leave these out to rot? Especially when you knew like 24 hours in advance, yeah, there's going to be people coming to see my apartment. They just didn't care, really. And so, again, not not pretty. We we didn't go with that one. Partially probably because of, you know, the reason that it looked disgusting in there. And you can't really visualize living in a place where there's just rotting food. Like, no matter how, how long I live there, I'm still going to be thinking, like, there was rotting food on that counter. So, and maybe I'm being too snooty. Who knows? But so, we, we saw the second one. Okay, it was, I mean, not pretty, but... But again, still one of the best all day. The third one we went into was actually outside of town. So they had a much more like regular, I guess. They, they had like a, like a model apartment. And so that was pretty nice. A bit out of our price range, but still nice to see. The third one, oh my God, oh my God. I seriously thought we weren't gonna make it out of there. It was, in these it was so sketchy it wasn't even funny like it was seriously kind of weirding me out we get there and the lady is I mean she's nice but she's a bit rough looking if you know what I mean and I mean that in the nicest way like she had probably lived a pretty hard life we're walking up there and there's just kind of people hanging out everywhere and I don't know why that always weirds me out like like we were, it was midday on a Tuesday. Don't you have somewhere to be? I'm weirded out by anybody who just doesn't seem to have work. How are you living? Oh God, I have wasted a day completely. Shit, ugh. So how, how are you living? So we saw that one and honestly, it wasn't terrible. Um, it wasn't the worst. The worst part of it was actually, there was just stains all over the floor. And that kind of weirded me out too, but it, it was fine, I guess. Then we saw the last one. And the last one was outside of town in the opposite direction. And it was bare, it was technically barely inside of town. So the last one was a fine apartment. The issue was I, so we, we got there early and we saw two people walk out and they're both wearing camo. And I was like, okay, I mean, I didn't really think much of it. Those were the people who lived there. And they looked fine. They looked like very like nice and clean cut people. Their apartment, I don't know how anyone, anyone could live that way. There was just mounds of garbage everywhere. Mounds of clothes everywhere. Mounds of uh, stacks of DVDs just like stacked like waist high. I mean, it was so surreal. To be in their apartment and look at it and say, my God, how do you live 
Where, like, literally, how do you even walk around? There's nowhere to to be, to exist. Like, there's there was two couches in this tiny living room, and one of them was just packed to the gills with with dirty clothes. Like, the whole thing, the whole couch was engulfed in dirty clothes. It was a surreal experience. Needless to say, we went with the first one because, honestly, it was, like, the only choice. Like, it wasn't pretty, but after you spent the whole day looking at these nasty, nasty, nasty-ass apartments, I mean, your, your only choice was the first one. So we went with the first one, and... I haven't even gotten to the bulk of the story. I, don't, I haven't even gotten to my point. Wow. I really needed to talk to you guys, I think. So, <laughs> so we take and we decide we're going to go with the first one. And he's like, okay, go fill out the loan application now. And so, uh, or the, the, the renter application. And then they said, you can sign the, the actual lease over email because we're, we're far away. Okay. We get there. We fill out the application. No, nope, that guy just bold faced lied to us. We can't, uh, it's a it's a legal contract, which made sense. You can't do that. I don't know. He owned the company. I don't know why he thought you could, unless his whole goal was just to get you back to the the place to do it. I don't know. But uh, so we went with that fine, and then we went home, got approved, and they said, okay, you have two days. This was the conversation. This was the exact conversation. She goes, you have two days to come back and sign the lease no problem. I mean, we, we have to do it basically. So, um, if we have to do that, we have to do that. We'll take the time off work, get it done. That was it. I hung up the phone thinking, oh, oh shit. Okay. I hung up the phone thinking, okay, we will, you know, go do that tomorrow. Cause, uh, I think one of us didn't have work and it, it worked out. Just do it tomorrow. Okay. We get there. No, you have to make an appointment. There was nothing said on the phone about making an appointment. This was not a thing that was mentioned. I don't know if they just assume we've rented before. They, they shouldn't. I mean, on the rental application, it said previous rentals, and neither one of us have ever rented before. But it was just, it was the whole thing was like that, where they just made it so blatantly clear that you are just one of 30,000 other people looking for an apartment and i mean come on you're you're not you're not special and that's fine that's that's a fine thing to realize but i will tell you guys if you are going to do that if you're going to go and get an apartment here soon like this coming one really start looking as soon as you possibly can we are what we are like six months, four, five months out, five months out from having to be there. Well, I guess four months technically, because I mean, May or uh, March is pretty much over. So we are still, we are still four months out. And th I mean, frankly, we are probably almost too late. Like it, it's, <laughs> there, there's, there's a lot to it. I would, I would recommend starting it much earlier than we did. Um, much, much, much earlier. <laughs> I can't, I cannot stress that enough. We probably barely made it because there was only like a handful of apartments to even look at. So start your, your renting process as early as you possibly can, because the last thing you want to happen is just to be completely SOL. None of those people are going to help you. None. They're just going to laugh at you. Honestly, like they don't care and that and you know what honestly i know people get all butt hurt it's okay that they don't care like frankly there's no reason for them to care you know like they they they're going to rent it whether you you rent it or not there's not like it's not like they have to to be worried about it the only one that we saw that was worried about it at all was the second one with the showroom because they were they were outside of town and i mean they they were cutting us deals oh shit oh shit no 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 Okay. Ugh, scared the piss out of me. I hate those motherfuckers. I seriously do. Those things... Ugh. Creepers. Man, creepers. Uh, they they were cutting us deals, which is kind of what I thought it would be. I mean, I think... I would have thought that they would have seen it and said, Okay, Kayla is not a student. You know, she she is a very adulty adult. And, you know... They would, they would be a little bit more couth about it, you know? You'd have somebody in the household that is literally just working full-time. And, you know, I don't know. I thought that that was not the case. That Don't don't uh, don't go into your 
renting journey thinking that. That, that is not the truth at all. <laughs> um, I have rambled on about this for probably like 15 minutes, I guess, or so. Huh, man, just nuts. Oh, uh, just can't even. So that's that. That is what. That's kind of the biggest thing we have going on. Um, and we will we'll be moving in August. Expect something up on the second channel about that, about us moving, because it's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be a pretty big deal, you know. I mean, frankly, I know that we we talk a big game, but Frank Loose Wire Productions is for the most part just me i mean for the most part like i have a i have a lot of help with making some of the videos but as far as editing and actually so far as far as this channel goes it's just me so if you guys get uh get my drift basically loose wire productions is moving so that's kind of that's kind of a neat idea we'll definitely put something up on the second channel about it and uh, maybe like a little video about us moving or like an apartment tour or something like that. It's a pretty nice apartment. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. I was really just shooting for a one bedroom and we ended up getting a two, and which is very, very nice. So let's put these in here. We will have completed our roof in this episode, which is all that we will have completed in this episode. <laughs> oh, that... that <laughs> I guess I just had a lot to talk about. I mean, like, I seriously, I, I've been missing this series. I have I enjoy this series so much. I know it's it's definitely not our most popular series, but I enjoy making it, which is really the point. And honestly, I gotta say, I have really been pleased with how the No Man's Sky videos are, are doing. They're, they're doing so well, and um, we're gaining a lot of subscribers off of them. So I really can't tell you that that uh, I am I am very pleased with how this has all been going, you know. Om nom nom on the the main channel is doing really well too. It's it's good stuff so far. We're we're doing very well. Um, I am very pleased with our growth. I'm very pleased with our numbers. Uh, it's really just finding the time to make the videos, which is is always the tough part, you know. If this was my job, I would have the opposite problem. Cause really, the the true issue with having YouTube as a job. I know a lot of people talk about the fact that it's unsteady money and stuff like that, and that, that's all very true. But the real issue with it is, is there's no limit to how many videos you can put out a day. You could just constantly be uploading and constantly making videos. The only limit is how much you wanna put into like your time, how much time you wanna cut into. If you wanna work you know, 80 hours a week on videos, you certainly can. There's no one stopping you and there's no one telling you to stop, you know? So, I mean, that's, that's kind of an interesting thought. That's, that is hands down the, the biggest dilemma with it. And I know that I, I, I've spoken about this a couple in a handful of episodes. I thoroughly dislike my job. I, I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not a fun job to do. It's very boring. It pays very well be in, you know, for what it is. But I don't know if I would want to make YouTube my full-time job. Part of the fun of this is trying to find the time to... There's our roof. It's very modern. I like it so far. Here, we'll put, uh, we'll put some glass in on these. Well, no, no, we won't. I don't want it to be touching that wood. But uh, there's our roof and there's our house. And that's that's it for the most part. I might put in a basement or something. But I think that's nice. It only took us like six episodes to do this. So that's pretty good. But I don't know if I'd want to make YouTube my full-time job. I think that I would just do nothing but YouTube. Like, or, or nothing but really make videos, you know? And that, that sounds like a good thing on the surface. But, like, doing this, I mean, there's not a lot of... Um, real human interaction we'll have to finish the porch too there's not a lot of real human interaction there there's you know there's people online and i mean for the most part they are very nice you know for the most part i have found that they're they're pretty supportive people i know that a lot of people will disagree with me on that there's a lot of hate on youtube there's a lot of hate on the internet in general but in the majority i have found people to be very supportive and very nice and I like that. I like that. But at the same time, it's nice to get out and it's nice to talk to my coworkers and that kind of stuff, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someday YouTube will be my full-time job. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I want to thank you guys for watching and um, be ready for the next episode because it'll be a lot sooner than like, I don't know what this was, like three weeks or something. So yeah, see you guys next time.